Alright guys, back with another video. This one is about how to set up Gears of War. I know I did one before, but some people weren't clear on how to set everything up, so here it goes. So while it's installing, I'll go ahead and pause the video, because uh, it takes a little while to install, as everybody knows. So next clip would be how to set everything up. Alright guys, right now it's just decompressing the files to make them the whopping 10 gigs that's going to take up the room on your hard drive. Next clip will be the actual how-to. Alright guys, just finished. So I'll go ahead and just hit this finish button, not even launching the game. So waiting for it. Should be done. As you can see, I got my own little patches folder. But here's pretty much the patches that you'll need depending on which system you have uh, you're either going to have a 64-bit or the 32-bit but you have to have these three files the Gears to you, uh, Gears of uh, War Live Setup and then the VCrest which is Visual Redistributable uh, Package 2005 so just run it like this hit continue then it should prop up with a thing and I'll just X out of it for now then you are gonna do either one of these two uh, you can do either or I got the 32-bit Vista so I'll just do this one and it's technically done so not that big of an application but the games uh, for Windows live setup is going to take a little while depending on if you already have the .NET framework and all that but there you go this it's already set up Next one's probably everybody's familiar with if you want to launch the game, it gives you an error and all that. Like, let me see if we'll do it. This is there. That it cannot run something, blah 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 blah. Binaries, war games cannot run the game, re reinstall the game, you yeah, right. just change your date let's do let's, yeah let's do that one or let's do 27 January and this should launch And there you go.
Alright guys, one thing I forgot to mention before I actually launched it. Uh, you have to go into the binaries folder to launch the startup program. You can't just launch it uh, from the CD directly because then it'll still give you issues. Uh, it'll pretty much shut down after about a minute of just staying up. So the way you find that is uh, right here in the binaries open that up and then just open up the startup which is right there and that right there will launch the actual uh, game up without any issues then just pretty much do the patch and just revert back into the regular time uh, regular data and everything and everything should be fixed as you can see it still thinks I'm a January 2007 so I can just go into the date and time and just switch it back to today and there you guys have it thanks for watching um, please rate subscribe comment if you have any issues just go ahead and uh, send me a PM and I'll go ahead and see if I can help you guys out alright thanks